Good morning students. Hope you all are fine. Today we will start our topic water. These are few ways in which you use water at home. Write the activities and the amount of water you use for each of them. As I wrote the amount of water by myself. The first activity. Yes. Drinking. How many glasses? I drink 8 glasses in a day. The second use is brushing. Brushing teeth. How many mugs of water? Yes, one mug. I used one mug. Use bathing. How many buckets? One or two. As you are kids, so one bucket is enough. Write three other ways in which you use water. Yes, cooking, washing, watering plants. What happens when you keep a bucket under a running tape? Very soon water gets collected in the bucket. In the same way, when it rains, water gets collected in low areas on the ground. At home, most of us get water through pipes, but where does this water come from? We get this water from rivers and lakes. There are many sources of water. Sources of water. Rain is our main source of water. Have you seen a puddle during the rainy season? On next page, activity is color this picture of children playing in the puddles. Rainwater also fills up ponds, lakes, streams, rivers and seas. We use these sources of water for our various needs. What is a pond? A pond is a small body of water surrounded by land on all the sides. As you can see in this picture, a pond. A lake. A lake is a large body of water entirely surrounded by land. You can see lake in this picture. A stream is a thin channel of water flowing down a mountain. The stream becomes bigger and bigger as it flows down the mountain to form a river. Rivers flow into the sea. A sea is a huge body of water. Sea water is salty as we have learnt in SST. We cannot drink salty water. The sea water is salty. We, can, we cannot see water for drinking. You can see a well. Underground water. Dear students, there is also water under the ground. Yes. And we dig wells to get ground water. Drinking water. We use water from lakes, rivers and wells for drinking. We do not drink sea water because it is salty. The water in the lakes and rivers is not very clean. It contains dirt and germs. Drinking water with dirt and germs can make us Ill. They must be removed from the water to make it fit for drinking. As you can see in river, dirty water in a river because 
the factory garbage and other dirts are in river so drinking water is first purified in water works you can see it is water works where many filters are working to clean this river water then it is supplied to our houses we collect this water from the taps in some places people do not get water supplied to their homes they have to collect in directly from the river lake pond or well as you can see well water is not fit for drinking it must be dirty this water has to be boiled to kill the germs it also has to be filtered to remove the dirt before drinking through tap water is purified before it reaches our homes there are chances of the water getting dirty and impure so this water should also be passed through our water filter at home as you seen a water filter in your school dear students filter hone ke baad jab hame gharon mein pani ya school mein hamare pipes ke zariye hame pani mil raha hota hai to wo kaise dirty ho sakta hai yes kahin se pipe leak ho sakta hai aur usme germs aur dirt एंटर हो सकती है इसलिए हमें घरों में और स्कूल्स में और जहाँ भी हम पानी पीते हैं दोबारा से वाटर फिल्टर के ज़रिए उसको प्योरीफाई करने के बाद ही पीना चाहिए द नेक्स्ट टॉपिक इज सेविंग वाटर देर इज प्लान्टी ऑफ वाटर इन द वर्ल्ड बट मोस्ट ऑफ इट इज सी वाटर एंड वी कैन नॉट यूज इट we can only use the fresh water in ponds lakes rivers and wells we get most of this fresh water through rain rain is our main source of fresh water in many places there is very little rain rivers and lakes do not get filled up fully people in these places face a great shortage of water we cannot live without water our crops and plants cannot grow without water water is precious we must not waste even a drop of it remember the following water saving tips do not leave the tape on while brushing teeth turn off the tapes after using them avoid bathing in showers use buckets and mugs dear students you have to read this lesson the pages we have read in this lecture we will learn remaining topics in next lecture good luck